I look like a member of KISS. Hey guys, this is Honey Samurai, and today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me video as I transform myself into the ultimate e-girl. Hopefully ultimate, probably not so ultimate. It's gonna be my first time, and we'll see how that goes. This is a look that I've been absolutely dying to do for forever. This is probably not as trendy on YouTube anymore. I saw a bunch of those coming out. I don't really see them as much anymore, but I just, I just wanna be an e-girl for a day and see, I just wanna channel that energy and see what happens. Maybe that energy will never leave. Who knows? I'm here for the ride. If you're new here, I'd just like to quickly mention that I share fashion ideas, geek about Japanese lifestyle and pop culture, and sometimes do animated show reviews. So if that sounds like you, hit that subscribe button. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to do this. But this could end up being a total and complete shit show, so we'll see. By the way, can we just appreciate really quickly this adorable little makeup box? It's so freaking cute! I got it as a birthday gift from one of my closest friends, Ray, looking at you, a few months ago, and it's like the best thing that's happened to my room. I mean, it just sits over there, and every time I look at it, I just smile. Um, in case you're wondering, I think it's from ColourPop. I may or may not put it in the description below, but yeah. This is where I keep all of my makeup necessities, and hopefully, with the stuff that I have here today, I will make it work. So I already have my foundation on and my concealer. So it's just gonna be, I'm just gonna be diving right in um, in the makeup. So for the first part, I'm gonna be doing the blush. And what I have here is a, it's called Serafina. Also a gift, um, which I will link down below. Um, I'll, just, I'll just link everything down below so that you guys can see. And if you don't see it there, I have no clue where it's from, sorry. <laughs> For the first time now, I'm going to have all of the liberty to just go crazy, go ham with the blush, and nobody can come for me. Or they can try, and I just won't give a heck because this is an e-girl look. You're supposed to have a lot of blush. At least that's what they say. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it. The thing that I love about this look is that like, it's made for that 2D space, which I guess is why they're called e-girls, but usually you're thinking so much about how you're gonna look in real life. But in this case, it's all about how you look on camera and the different illusions that you can make. So now I definitely look like I have a cold, which should be a good thing. I actually really love this blush because it goes very well with my skin tone. It's more of like a peach rather than just like this like strawberry. Um, so it really does look like I am blushing as opposed to just like somebody punched me in the face, I don't know. Or maybe I still look like I got punched in the face, who knows. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is like contour. At least I'm supposed to do to contour, um, but I don't really have any contour makeup. The contour that I had like broke and ever since then it's just been like, well, guess I don't need contour anymore. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use a lip liner that I have since it's brown. Um, and I'm gonna make it work. Oh, wow, that's really dark. So I'm just gonna... I'm just like blending it with my finger, which I know is a faux pas, but I feel like it's more accurate right now if I do it like this, since this is so dark. I'm gonna do this a little bit off camera so that I can see better. I think I, think I mostly got it. Like you can't really notice on camera, but whatever, it's there. And next I'm gonna do some highlight. 
um, since it's all about the highlight as well on your nose, for instance. Um, and for that, I'm going to be using this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, which is white. It's probably one of my, if not my favorite makeup item because it's so versatile and it makes so many things pop. I'm a little worried my nose is just gonna look ashy because my skin complexion is not very pale, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm actually told to just like put the white eyeliner on the inner corners of my eyes, but I think I'm just gonna put it all on my eyelids as well because I want the eyeshadow that I'm going to put on to pop. I know that I'm looking crazy, I know that I'm looking crazy, but trust me, this works, okay? Trust me. Or maybe don't trust me, because I'm literally experimenting, like, <laughs> like, if you were to follow me, it literally would be like the blind leading the blind, so. And for the freckles, I'm gonna use my eyebrow brush, um, which honestly, I'm thinking I should have used for the contour as well, because it's a little bit lighter or at least more natural looking than the lip liner that I used, but whatever. Um, and the brow brush that I'm gonna be using is from Maybelline, um, Total Temptation. This is gonna be my first time doing freckles. I hope I don't look ridiculous. Crazy, that's fine, but just ridiculous, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm just gonna keep working with it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep working with it. Then I'm gonna try and blend it out a little so that I don't look too much like a cheetah. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. You can barely see it because my room is so bright, but. Okay, I'm gonna add some more blush as needed. blend out the freckles as well okay okay I don't look as crazy as I thought I would here's the part that I've been really curious to try and it's putting a little bit of contour under your eyes um, I've always been like really self-conscious about like my um, under eye circles so the thought of like bringing them out is funny to me so we'll see how that goes <laughs> I'm gonna be using my brow brush again because we're in the ghettos so it's fine <laughs> I'm sad you can't see it so much in the camera but it's it's there <laughs> so now I'm going to go in and put on my pink eyeshadow since I think I'm going to be wearing black and pink, um, I thought it would be more fun to have myself be wearing pink eyeshadow, so we'll see. And you'll see how much it pops if you compare to my previous videos, um, if you saw them. So I look a little less um, questionable now, I hope. <laughs> And you know what? I do a little bit of a smoky eye as well, which is usually a disaster, but I'm gonna try. Yep, a disaster. It actually looks weirder on camera than it does in my mirror, so I don't know why, but okay. Now that I did that, I will put the white accents on the inner corners of my eye now, which I am scared to do. I feel like this crayon is kind of like rounded out, so it's not very accurate, so I'm gonna use a brush. Wait, I have to clean this up. I have to clean this up. Okay, you know what? I'll just like clean it later. 
Okay, so this is where the magic happens and it's in the eyeliner. We're gonna be doing a different shape than I am used to, so hopefully it doesn't end up a complete disaster since eyeliner is already tricky in and of itself. Um, but I'm gonna be using the NYX Liquid Matte Eyeliner, um, which is exciting. I think I'm gonna probably do this off camera-ish because I wanna be as focused as possible. But basically you're supposed to like go from here upward and then bring it straight towards the middle and it'll just create this big illusion that your eyes are much bigger than they actually are. So hopefully I don't screw that up. So this is what I have so far. You see it's like from here upward and then from the middle downward and then the same thing on this side and they are very much not matching, but I'm gonna keep pushing forward <laughs> and hope that it doesn't look too horrible in the end. I feel like I kind of fucked up. Yeah, I went way too much on the bottom, but it's nearing 11 p.m. on a Sunday night and I am just gonna go with it because I am not about to start redoing and redoing eyeliner at this hour. <laughs> Why did I decide to do this now? Do not ask me, do not question. I look like a member of KISS. Now I'm going to draw the bottom lashes. Um, some people put bottom, like actual bottom lashes, um, falsies, but I'm just gonna draw it in. Um, since people do that as well. Oh, why is it focusing behind me? Can you not? <laughs> um, that's the first one. It's not too bad. Could be worse. Um, and that is the second side. I tried. I tried. <laughs> oh, child. <laughs> so, uh... Now I'm gonna add some white eyeliner, the NYX one, to under, under my eyes. It's so messy. Oh my God. I mean, when I'm far away, you won't see it, but it's, it's a whole hot mess. It's fine, whatever. We're having fun here. This is a safe space to be absolutely awful at makeup. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I cleaned it up a little bit. Just a tiny bit at the bottom. Now, time to take it to the next level and put in my lashes. They say to like cut it like in half. Um, and then put them on the like outer corners, but I kind of don't want to because that's kind of like a final thing to do and I don't like the idea of constantly buying new lashes. So I'm just gonna put them on as is and hopefully no cops come after me. Getting ready to put it on. Wait, did I? I put them backwards. Oh, I hate when I do that. Yep, definitely look like a KISS member. Applying my eyelash glue. Okay, I think that's close enough. Hello, I'm here for my KISS audition. I'm supposed to like put some blush on my lips um, and you know what I have like more than one tool for that so I have this like milk makeup thing and this is pretty helpful I think I'm gonna put some actual blush as well let's see how that goes all right some last-minute steps I'm gonna go in and put a little bit more eye uh, blush because why not 
I would use setting spray, but I'm not going anywhere, so. All right, and one more use of this white liner, just to really make um, the finish look pop. Just trying to choose which brush to use here. I'm not gonna go crazy with the actual crayon this time, because it's like not accurate enough. I'm gonna do this off camera because I wanna be as accurate as possible and not look too crazy. See, I put one here and here, but I honestly am not too hot about it. I might, maybe it's my skin tone, but I'm not that hot about it. Okay, it's coming out black. Don't know why. Gonna use a different brush because maybe it got some residue from my eyeshadow. Um, okay, I guess. I really don't like this. I think I'm gonna take it out. It doesn't... There must be something I'm doing wrong, but I'm just gonna take it out because I don't really like it. It just looks like I messed up somewhere. Like I like the under eyeliner. And this is not the first time that I tried to do this and it was a disaster. So I just, it's either my skin tone or I'm applying it wrong. See, now I feel like I'll look a little bit more like, okay. And now that I look from here, I don't hate my lips. This is like a cute little Olzang um, lip look too. I'm gonna file this for later, later looks. Okay, so now on to the much more fun part, which is the clothes. Honestly, doing makeup just like stresses me out sometimes. So to finally get to the clothes, I'm really excited and the wig and the accessories pretty much I find that a lot of these looks all come down to accessories which is something that I just realized recently like you don't always have to buy a lot of clothes you can just like buy accessories which are cheaper and just kind of cycle through them depending on the look that you want and that way you can have fun with different trends without having to break the bank too much. I bought a bunch of stuff from Shein before I moved out to LA and then I was like, well, guess I'm coming with them. Um, so they just kind of been waiting for me and I'm so excited to finally open up these goodie bags. So mini haul moment. I got some leg warmers. Got these stockings. I think they're stockings or maybe thigh highs. I kind of forgot. And from Shein, I also got this mesh top. And for that top, I'm going to wear it underneath another Shein top that I got recently. This cute little thing. It says Angel Baby, which I think is very like typical like e-girl thing to wear. So it's like you had to wear that on top. I just got a bunch of accessories. Like I'm really excited about them. Like I got garters, which are really cute. I got like a choker. Hello. A, like a bunch of chains because e-girl, you can't be an e-girl without the chains. My most exciting part of the haul is these cat ears that I got. My very first set of cat ears. I am in love and they have little bells on them. They're so cute. <laughs> um, the rest of the stuff aren't from Shein, so I'm wearing like my pleated skirt um, and a pair of demonias. These bad boys. Um, I also have like this harness um, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear it I just took it out just in case to see and I have my little heart belt just in case I want to you know give it that little accent that little soft girl accent that I always have to have so your girl came equipped your girl came equipped okay I just put the mesh top with the um, little baby top and I'm in love with it. I'm in love. This is exactly how I pictured it. And you know, I had some doubts. I had some doubts, but it's looking good. It's looking good so far. Okay, on to the next piece. And voila. 
I am loving this. Loving, loving, loving this. Okay. Okay. I'm also going to put on fishnets. I know I said I'm going to put on thigh highs, but I'm really like obsessed with the idea of layers right now. So I'm going to put on fishnets and then the thigh highs and then the little socks, the little um, leg warmers. So I've got the fishnets on, which go with the little mesh top going on here. And now I'm gonna put on the thigh high socks. This is so exciting. Oh my God, I could not, I absolutely could not wait to put these on. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. I feel like wearing these all the time. Just in case you wanted a better look. That's what's happening now. So I'm now putting on the leg warmers. I know it's a lot, but it's rare that I go crazy with the accessories like this. So, here we are. Okay, so I'm just putting on garters. I think I'm just gonna put on one. I don't think I need much more than that. Ah, it's so cute! Oh my gosh, I love it. You don't really see it under the skirt, but you know, a little peek and it's like, ooh, what's that? Gonna put on a belt now, along with the chains. My belt is kind of like messed up right now, so do not judge me, okay? And now, the little chains. Uh. Oh my gosh, yes. 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 So now I'm gonna put on the choker. Super exciting. I've had chokers before, but this is like the most extra I've ever been with one. Oh my goodness. Maybe it's a little bit too much, but can I go back now? A lot going on here. Oh my goodness. I look like I'm going to like a party. I think I am gonna put the harness on, so. Here we go. Go hard or go home, baby. I just put the harness and it's crazy. Like together with the chains and this, it's like definitely would say that I'm over accessorizing, but for the purpose of today, I think I have the right. I think I have artistic liberty to go insane. So let me put on my wig. And you know, I could have gone for like a crazier color, but for whatever reason, I wanted the I wanted the bob. Wow, the bob is really pulling it together. Crazy what hair can do, right? Like I'm shook. Wow. Like things are coming together now. Things are making sense. Things are starting to make sense. <laughs> oh my God, I almost forgot the biggest piece out of this whole outfit. The ears, oh my goodness. Okay, to be fair, I don't really think these, these go anymore because I just already have so many accessories on. But like, because I have pink thigh highs, this is the only other pink and black item that I have that can semi bring it together. So it's either I wear them both together or I take them out. I might take them out, I'm not sure. But they're so cute. I think I might just like, there you go. Aren't I the cutest little cat? Aren't I the cutest kitty? Okay, I'm done. So lastly, I put on my demonias and I don't know, I feel like I'm popping. So let me know what you guys think.
late now and I gotta go to sleep. But overall, I'll say that this outfit was a win. Yeah, I like it. I would do it again. <coughs> God, I need water. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, Love you guys, and till next time.